our world book will be in essentially five phases. And the first phase is the world book beta. So this is the world book beta. And what is that? So this is going to be limited beta. So it's, for, it's not going to be for everybody. Um, we will instruct you how you can be part of the first um, beta. Um, and the reason why we don't open up immediately is because we still want to do continue testing, iteration, and improvements. And this one, so this, um, what is a beta? It's limited access and also it's limited currency. So I think from a base currency, it will start with Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and our cash token, and with limited fiat. So we're not gonna open this up to all, may, all tokens or altcoins um, because it's in beta stage. This is extremely important to make sure that it functions well. And this is, so as the world book has an external world book and an internal world book, um, this limited beta will be for the internal world book. And um, so that we are looking for the first week of April. And for people who are interested in being an early beta user, um, please let us know. We'll probably um, inform you how you can participate in the first um, beta release. Um, but please, um, <clears throat> um, we will let you know. And we will love your feedback. Um, anything that will allow us to improve um, our world book. But before, I just wanted to step back um, a little bit as well. Is um, the technology part, we will be launching or we will go live in hidden mode. So this is the tech part. The hidden mode. Um, hopefully a week from next Monday. So a week from next Monday, um, the core part is called the multi-market order. We call it the MMO and the matching engine. So this in hidden mode will go live um, a week from Monday, right? So if all things go well, um, it will be running in hidden mode. Um, we, will not, um, <clears throat> we will not say which currency pairs it will be working on. Um, the reason why is we need to do natural flow testing. So what does this mean? So if you, for example, say, hey, we're going to do it on Bitcoin or we're going to do it on cash, um, there could be an unnatural flow of trading that could happen, which might give different indications on the results. So with that, um, so we will do this um, hidden mode. This is on the back end side. Um, the MMO and the ME, we will do a week from next Monday. So that will be going on hidden mode. And assuming that hidden mode testing goes well, we will launch the beta version first week of April. Okay, so just to go back, we were initially thinking about having the hidden mode go end of um, February. So obviously it's been pushed back a little bit. So it's been pushed back maybe two to three weeks, um, but everything's look um, looks good, and um, we are excited. And so this phase one, which is the um, world book beta, <clears throat> is going to be absolutely critical, right? So we will need your feedback. We will make iterations. And phase two is when we do the unified platform. This is going to be the full version. This is going to be the full it's going to be fully live full version unified platform our we have an ambitious goal is if everything goes well um regarding the beta the world book beta hopefully within one or two months um we can have that unified platform right so if we can launch the world beta world book beta the first week of april Hopefully within the next one or two months, we can go fully live on the Uniform um, platform. And this will include both internal and external, and hopefully as many currencies as possible, both crypto and fiat. So we believe that is going to be the fully unified platform. And um, I have an internal goal that we have that by end of Q2, right? So May, 
June timeframe if all things go well. But if the beta version has some issues, <clears throat> we'll, we'll, we'll update you again. Okay, and so that's phase two. And we have three more phases. As you know, um, especially in Asia, it's mobile first, right? So we need to have a functioning um, mobile um, version and this will um, incorporate and, and it needs to be a better UI, a better user experience, so all these things together, having a full mobile version will be phase three, right? So phase one is the world book beta. Phase two is the unified platform. And based on those, phase three will be the mobile version. We have to have a <clears throat> kick-ass mobile version. And um, obviously the one that we have now um, has much to be improved. Um, but rather than work, we will make um, improvements on our existing one, but we're going to have a full liquid um, mobile, hopefully after um, phase two, uh, and it will be part of phase three. So it will work simultaneously because it will be with a lot with our mobile developers, um, but I cannot give you a date on that um, today. And then phase four and phase five is um, more for institutional investors and um, a lot on financial infrastructure. So what does financial infrastructure mean? So <clears throat> a lot of the external exchanges that we connect to, right? We already have um, accounts open. We already have trading um, <clears throat> executions that already happen. But with these, we will now need to have commercial agreements, like getting credit. Right, have an agreement on T plus one settlement, making sure that we agree on using the same banking partner. So all of these things, and I, I call this um, financial infrastructure agreements, will need to take place. And these are things that are quite difficult and it's, it's sometimes um, out of my control, right? So banks can take more than two years. We've been working with some banks for over four years and um, it, still, it still takes time. So phase four is putting in the financial infrastructure as well as the te uh, technical infrastructure, right? So having uh, an ECN, right? And having a DMA, which is a direct market access um, and having an ECA where, especially if you're an institutional investor, if you're a hedge fund, if you're a liquidity partner, we will provide a common user API and then you'll be able to connect with all these exchanges and you can decide which exchange you need to, you want to connect to. The big difference between phase four and phase five is for example, I'm a large um, financial institution and I wanna do a direct market access or EC ECN. Um, I will have to have a separate account opening with that exchange. So in phase four, it's more of we've connected the technical element with all these exchanges and have a common a, um, unified API, but the customer will have to open accounts with all the other exchanges. So it's, it's okay for people who want to control their own um, money in and out and credit, um, but that leads to phase five, which includes the prime brokerage our custodial service, and also where that, for example, institutional investor can just open an account with us, and then they can just trade um, with all these other exchanges without them opening a bank account or a crypto account with these exchanges. So phase four and phase five is truly when we open up to institutional investors um, hedge funds, liquidity partners, and market makers so that they can trade not only on our own service, but with other service, either as a prime brokerage or accounts set up by themselves.